guys i am dr slf das today we are discussing multiplexer using cmos logic first one is 2 is to 1 multiplexer 2 is to 1 multiplexer meaning is that two input and the one output and uh, out of this two input output will be any one of the input so we can say that 2 is to 1 multiplexer chooses between two inputs so d1 and d0 are the two inputs when we are saying that two uh, two inputs are there so one select line two is to one so uh, power indicate the select lines so one select line should be there and the one output is there this is a two table of the multiple uh, two is to one multiplexer when s is zero or the select line is zero whatever the d zero applied that is coming to the output irrespective of the d1 second input whatever it may be uh, d0 if it is 0 then output will be the 0 if d0 is 1 then output will be the 1 so meaning is that whatever the uh, d0 signal applied corresponding output will be generated correspondingly output will be uh, coming from the d0 if select line s is the one then whatever uh, d0 irrespective of the d0 if d1 signal is 0 then output will be the 0 if d1 signal is 1 then output will be the 1 meaning is that whatever the input that you are applying at the d1 terminal that will be coming to the output y if the select line is 1 so if select line is 0 then d0 uh, signal will be coming to the output if s select line is 1 then d1 signal will be coming to the output that is a 2 is to 1 multiplexer so uh, logical function of this 2 is to 1 multiplexer becomes y equals to s into d1 plus s bar into d0 that is coming from the two table so question raises then how many transistors if you are implementing this gate logic then how much uh, transistor you are needed in VLSI so this is the circuit diagram of this we are requiring two and operations so two and gates are required first and gate has an input s and a d1 so the product s into d1 will be the output of that first and gate second and operation is s bar into the d0 so one inverter you are needed to convert s to s0 uh, s bar and then uh, that is bar going to the second and gate with d0 so the second and gate output becomes s bar into the d0 now this two and gate output we have to be added that is or operation we are needed so we are needed a or gate and then the total y will be getting that is the logic circuitry using gates now but in vlsi you know that now direct implementation is not uh, good so we have to implement the first inverted operation and then we have to connect the one inverter so that it becomes a regular operation meaning is that we can't generate the uh, AND gate directly we have to design first AND gate and then connect one inverter to the, that it becomes an AND gate so for one AND gate you are requiring one AND gate and one inverter for the second AND gate also you will require the one NAND gate and one inverter also for the NOR gate uh, OR gate you are you have to use one NOR gate and one inverter so for NAND gate generation you will require a four transistor for second AND gate and, and NAND gate you are requiring another four transistor for inverter you are requiring two two transistors for NOR gate also you will require 4 transistor so the total transistor you will require to be 20 so if we are implementing such type of the gate implementation in VLSI then it will require a 20 transistor but if you are using the uh, some different techniques in VLSI then this number of transistor requirement should be the less so for that non restoring mux is just 2 transmission gate if you are using the non restoring mux means using if, uh, we have to use the two transmission gates there two transmission gates if are connected in this fashion then we you can say that you uh, it will function as a transmission gate meaning is that uh, upper transmission gate uh, has a select input s and the input d0 and a select line s bar second select line as s bar 
also the below transistor or below transmission gate it has a two select lines again s and s bar and another input d1 is applied here and output of both these transmission gates tied together is to generate a output y for example now if s is the zero then upper transmission gate will be active since s is zero uh, so s bar becomes one so upper transmission gate both select lines will be enabled now and it will act as a closed loop while the lower transmission gate will be completely disabled it will act as an open circuit meaning is that now the d0 input is connected to the y d1 is not connected to the y so whatever the input that you have to apply to the d0 whether it is zero the y will be zero if d0 is one then y will be the one meaning is that if s is zero d0 input will be coming to the output y if s is the one now so that the s bar becomes zero now the upper transmission gate will be disabled or it will act as an open circuit while the lower transmission gate is enabled and it will act as a closed circuit so it a uh, closed switch so whatever the d1 input that you have to be connected it will be connected uh, to the y meaning is that if d1 is 0 then y will be the 0 if d1 is 1 y will be the 1 so meaning is that for s equals to 1 you have a output d1 if s is 0 then you have output d0 so but it is called as a non restoring because whatever the noise signal that you have to be present on the d0 and d1 d1 that will be coming to the output directly but advantage is that it will require only the four transistor earlier uh, circuit uh, in this uh, gate circuitry you are requiring the 20 transistor while using transmission gate mux you will require the only the four transistors that is the advantage of this similarly we can generate the inverting mux also using cmos logic uh, you know the logical function and y equals to s bar into d0 plus s into d1 so we have the two operations we have the two operations and operations s bar into d0 and s into d1 so we are needed the two um, uh, two nmos transistor to implement s bar into d0 which are connected in series similarly s into d1 we are needed another two nmos transistor is in series and then both the series combination we can connect it in the parallel so that our pull down network will be constructed because of the pull up network is exactly reverse of this pull down network so series combination becomes now the parallel combination for the uh, pmos transistor with the input s bar and d0 and a second parallel combination will be s into d1 transistor and then both the parallel combination we can connect in series so that the total CMOS structure will be generated now the second diagram is also reflecting the same now if we are saying that if s is the zero <coughs> s is the zero then uh, your s bar will be the one and your second uh, a switch and s bar switch a switch of the pmos transistor and s bar switch of the nmos transistor will get on will get on and whatever the d0 signal that you are applying meaning is that if d0 is 0 then upper most transistor left uppermost transistor will be on and VDD will be connected to the output one uh, output connected to the one uh, that is meaning is that Y is one means D0 is zero Y becomes one similarly if D0 is one then output <coughs> Y becomes zero meaning is that whatever the signal the D0 that we are connecting inverted of the D0 signal will be coming to the output Y meaning is that if s is 0 then we are getting d0 bar and if s is the one now we are getting the d1 bar meaning is that we are getting the inverting mux transistor inverting mux now here 
so therefore the symbol of this inverting mux has a bubble on the uh, output side if we are if we want the non inverting mux then we have to connect the one more inverter to the output y meaning is that for non inverting uh, mux we are getting uh, we have to use only this 4 plus 4 8 plus 2 transistor uh, i mean strain transistor <coughs> Same transistor we are require only. So it is similar to AOI two two earlier we are studied. We can say that um, that is AND or inverter to operation. So that is the total inverting and a non inverting mode. So using gate implementation directly we are requiring twenty transistor. Using transmission gate we are requiring four transistor. while using cmos logic <coughs> we are requiring 10 transistor only so that is the advantage of the cmos logic this is 4 is to 1 mux it will require the 3 2 is to 1 multiplexer since it has a four input so therefore two select lines are there first two mux first two mux are controlled by the a0 line while the second third mux uh, third 2 is to 1 mux is controlled by the s1 line so whatever the input that you are applying when zero is zero is zero and s1 is also uh, zero then d0 input will come into the output when a, uh, zero when is the condition means s1 is zero but s0 is one then d1 input will come into the output when s1 is one and s0 is zero then d2 output will come And S1 is one, and S0 is also one. Then D3 output will come into the output. So that is the implementation of 4 is to 1 using 2 is to 1 muxes, or the second diagram so that it can be implemented by the tri-state also. So this is all about the multiplexer that you can be designed using the CMOS logic. So thank you very much. Thank you.